Hey guys, welcome back. O Gage C and I are here. I've now started to um, build multiple trestles, but um, I wanted to show you guys how I'm doing this process. So, um, for my wood, this is all just two by four. I plane them all down. You don't have to use balsa wood. Everyone talks about balsa wood, but I think if you're using some nice two by fours or four by fours or whatever you can find, as long as you can cut it to size and it looks good, you are okay. It's getting back to the importance of a jig. Now, this is my jig. I have it numbered off for what trestle will be where, and I put a little marking for how many I've built. I figure for my bridge, I'm gonna need anywhere between 24 to 28. When I get to about the 20 mark, I'm going to start assembling it, and then I'll build new piers as I go. I will only be assembling it one bent at a time and making sure it is absolutely symmetrical. Reason being is when I have it on its side, if they're all spaced in even four inches and every piece of wood is cut perfectly, it will make a very nice uniform look. So with my pier design, if you are going with O scale, these right here, all the horizontal and vertical pieces are a half inch and all of my stringers are a quarter inch. And that can all be done very easily in a bandsaw. Now, after you would take your jig and you would put in all of these vertical and horizontal pieces, I recommend you use something that's flat and has weight to it. This is a glass pane I'm using. It probably weighs about 10 pounds. And I have one for each station. So over here, this is where I assemble um, just the vertical and horizontal pieces. So on this piece here, I like to use a piece, or I like to use super glue adhesive due to the fact that I don't want it to stick to the table and it comes up relatively easy. I'm not waiting for them to fully dry. Just once they have a bond, I bring them over here and I flip them over. And then I will use the already aligned piece below to align the backside pieces. I then use a, a miter saw to cut all these relatively quickly. Now, since you're only going to be seeing it on the inverted side, I don't do a nice job on the cuts up here. I'm not really worried about you seeing that. When I look at all my rock scenery in the background and trees and trains going by, I'm hoping that'll take away from the effect, the, uh, the uh, look. Now, if you're Stuart, one of my best friends, he likes to look at everything I do and look for everything that's imper imperfect. If you're going to do that there, then you have a lot of work cut out because these alone must take me an hour a piece, if not an hour and a half. But yeah, so this is where we're at. Next video, I'm going to show you how to start assembling the bridge. Um, if you want to know how many bents you'll need, um, all you have to do is measure your bridge, your bridge span. Also, another thing I forgot to add, whatever the spacing between each of these cross members are, this will be the spacing for how far each bent is spaced from each other. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please like and subscribe. It helps keep me motivated to keep pushing content out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.